Hi, I'm Mike Brewer, pastor of the Blue Ash Presbyterian Church, and this is Mike's midweek message for June 24th. Thanks for stopping by. The other evening I was watching an old Alfred Hitchcock movie. Uh, I think Hitchcock made wonderful movies. This one was The Lady Vanishes, a, a fairly early movie. I enjoyed the movie, and when it ended, I suddenly thought, oh no, I didn't see Hitchcock. As you probably know, Hitchcock made cameos in most of his movies, and sometimes you spot him, sometimes you don't. So I had to get on Google and find out just exactly where Hitchcock had appeared so I could go back and watch that scene. And there, sure enough, about eight or nine minutes in, you can spot his rotund form strolling past the front of a movie theater. It got me thinking about cameos, about Hitchcock's fondness for creating a world and then dropping in to play in his own sandbox. And I suspect that uh, God is that way too. God made this wonderful world and I think God drops in to uh, be part of it, to participate, to rub elbows and shoulders with you and me. There's a wonderful parable in the 25th chapter of Matthew in which Jesus says, Someday the Son of Man will gather the world at his feet, and to some of those people he gathers, he will say, I was in prison, and you visited me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was hungry, and you gave me food. And they will say, Lord, we didn't know that we did that for you. And he will say, If you did it for the least of my brothers or sisters, you did it for me. And then he will turn to the others and say, I was in prison and you didn't visit me. I was sick and you didn't come to help me. And so on. And they will say, Lord, if we had known it was you. And he will say, Ah, if you ignored the needs of the least of my children, you have ignored me. The whole thing leaves me wondering how often I miss seeing Jesus as he's making a cameo strolling across my day. I wonder if he is showing up in that, uh, in that pedestrian crossing the street against the light, or if he is making an appearance in that uh, somewhat disreputable looking fellow who's standing on the corner and asking for quarters, or if he is the tired bank clerk at the end of the day who can't quite figure out exactly what it is I'm trying to do with my account. You know, if we watched for these cameo appearances from Jesus, if we looked at each person and thought, you know, that might be Jesus in disguise. That might be Jesus visiting me through this unexpected person behind this unfamiliar face. I wonder if it would change the way we treat each other. I wonder if it would change the way we chat and visit and make allowances and forgive each other. Uh, there's a wonderful story in Luke's Gospel, an Easter story, about two folks who are on their way back from uh, Jerusalem to the little town of Emmaus. It's about a seven mile walk. It's uh, Easter afternoon, and as they are making the walk, a stranger comes up and visits them, and they walk along together for an hour or so, and only later do they realize that the stranger was the risen Lord, right there on the road with them. It is both an exciting thought and a sobering one, isn't it? Lord, if I'd known it was you, I would have treated you better. Take a look around today. Keep your eyes peeled for cameos. And remind yourself that any person you meet just might be Jesus reaching out to you with an opportunity or an invitation or a need for help. Thanks for dropping in. I hope you'll come back again next week. And between now and then, be strong, be safe, and be faithful. See you later.